Hello Pokemon trainers, welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon guide video here on iStarly TV. Today I'm going to show you how to get unlimited heart scales in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Heart scales are very, very useful in Pokemon Sun and Moon because they can allow you to teach Pokemon moves that they have forgotten or maybe moves that they knew a long time ago or moves that they have yet to learn. That's another new feature with heart scales in Pokemon Sun and Moon. You can actually teach a Pokemon a move that it hasn't learned yet that is in its move pool. It's extremely useful. I'll show you an example of that towards the end of the video. But first, let's show you how to get unlimited heart skills. Before we begin though, heart skills are useful or are usable only towards the end of the game, unfortunately. This is the Mount Lanakila Pokemon Center, and you're going to come to this lady over here, and she is the move rememberer. So she, she will teach a Pokemon a move that they've already known, like I said, for one heart skill, in exchange for one heart skill. Um, again, this is Mount Lanakila. It's right before the Pokemon League, and so if you haven't gotten that far in the game, you're not going to really need to worry about this until you get far into the game or until you've beaten the game. Um, and that's really when heart skills are most valuable anyway, because that's when you're probably building more competitive teams, so you want your Pokemon to learn specific moves. So how to get the heart skills? Let's go ahead and fly. There are three restaurants scattered across the Alola region, one on each of three different islands, and you go there and you can actually get heart skills very easily. So the first one is going to be at Kony Kony City. Towards the bottom left, you're going to fly to Kony Kony City. And the method here is that you are eating at the restaurants located in Alola. And you're going to choose a different meal. Each restaurant has different meals that you can choose. Um, and each of those restaurants, they have one meal where the kahuna of that island will actually join you. Eat with you. It's kind of a fun little cutscene. And then they will give you a number of heart skills. So this is the restaurant in Kony Kody City. It's a little bit across from the Pokemon Center. And you're going to talk to the lady here. Welcome. Come right in. Table for one? Yes, please. All right. So now to get the heart skills for free. So this is pretty much buying heart skills. That's essentially what it is. But like I said, if you choose one of these first ones, you can actually get... You can actually get unlimited heart skills depending on how much money you have. So you buy the heart skills, essentially. I believe if you choose one of these first options, you will get two heart skills for $1,040. That's not a bad price, especially because heart skills are so valuable. But what you're going to want to choose here is the last one. I'll take the Special Z set. This set uses quite a lot of local Alolan ingredients. It's a rather unique flavor that may not be to everyone's tastes. But you're okay with that. Sounds good. So they always try to convince you not to eat it. Uh, and then look at that, the Kahuna, Olivia, Thick AF, <laughs> the Kahuna of, of uh, Akala Island. She fine, am I right? Okay, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so she comes and joins you. You're going to have lunch with Olivia. Um, she's going to talk about her lichen rock and her, her carbink. And you get to eat with her. You get to go on a date with Olivia. That's all, that's even better here. Dig in, Scarecrow, before it gets cold. Okay, sorry. That was delicious. Maybe it's about time I find someone to cook for myself, huh? But look at your plate, you've barely touched a thing. So she talks to you and then after that she's going to give you some freebie heart skills as she calls them. She gives you four heart skills and not only that but she actually pays for your meal. So you get to eat for free, go on a date with Olivia and get four heart skills. Who could ask for a better, a better time in Akala Island? For the second restaurant you're going to fly to Ula Ula Island and you're going to fly to Meili City. Now remember, this is accessible as soon as you get to these islands. So as soon as you get to Ula Ula Island, you can actually eat at this restaurant and get the heart skills. Again, it just won't matter until... You can't even use the heart skills until the Pokemon League anyway. So you'll just have heart skills stocked up. So you're going to come from the Pokemon Center. You're going to go to the left. You're going to pass these cars. And you're going to enter the third one down. This one's right before the turn. So this is the restaurant right here. You're going to go in here. And you're going to talk to the man. Now, this one's awesome. It looks like a like a sushi restaurant or something. And I, I love sushi. I don't know about you all. So $4,000. This one's more expensive. But again, you're going to choose the last one. This is the Z Kaiseki Ronin set. And he says, food lovers, uh, not many young boys like it. Are you sure? See, again, he's trying to make sure you don't want it. Um, and Nanu comes in. You open. So this one is a little different. In the previous one, you get to you get to go on a date with Olivia and get heart skills for free, which is amazing. This one, you have to sit through a meal with this creepy old man, Nanu. 
However, you actually get 8 heart skills from eating with Nanu, and again he pays for your meal for free, so to balance out the kind of awkwardness of eating with this old man, he will give you a lot more heart skills. So there are 8 heart skills right there. See ya, kid. Finally, you're gonna fly to the last island, the Seafold Village. And you guessed it, you're gonna eat with the Kahuna Hapu at Seafolk Village. Unfortunately, Hapu is a little bit of a cheapskate. She only gives you two heart scales, but again, they are free. Remember, this is important here. You can only get these specific heart scales when you eat with the Kahuna. You can only get them once per day. So the free heart scales, you only get those once per day. Um, the other heart scales, you actually can get them. Uh, or, or the other methods of, of buying heart scales... Um, or buying one of the meals yourself, you can get those any time of day. So again, last one here, table for one. And again, you're going to choose the last one, the Zoomungus Z noodles. I'll be fine. Once again, our little girl's going to walk right in with her big thick braids. She's famished. She's kind of cute, I guess. I mean, she's interesting. I don't know. She's got some cool Pokemon. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're on a little date with her now. <laughs> I, I like these cutscenes, though. It adds something something to the game that wasn't ever really there before. It adds some personality to the game. Um, that's different than anything we've ever seen in Pokemon games before. You actually get to eat with one of these important trainers. It gives some life to the trainers rather than just, just being like important trainers, powerful trainers. They actually have some personality. So she's going to give us two heart scales and pay for our meal. Again, two heart scales is not that much compared to Olivia and Nanu, but it's still something. It's still pretty, pretty valuable to get them for free. And just remember to do this every single day. You can eat these <laughs> every single day. You can eat with the kahunas and get heart scales for free. Now, once again, you can actually buy the heart scales or rather eat a meal and they will come with heart skills. So let's go to the normal Z noodles or Z noodles just to try it out. It was delicious. Five hundred dollars, and we are gonna get one heart skill. Okay, so it's essentially five hundred dollars for a heart skill, and you have to sit through that little cutscene. Again, that's worth it. I would say that's worth it. But just do remember, every single day. Fly to those three different restaurants, choose the last meal on the menu, and you will eat with a kahuna. They will pay for your meal. They will give you a lot of heart skills total. That's 14 heart skills for free per day. A couple other methods for getting heart skill. You can find Wild Love Disc by fishing in the game. Wild Love Disc has a 50% chance to be holding a heart skill. So you can have a Pokemon with Thief to steal the heart skill from it. Or you can have a Pokemon with Compound Eyes and or, um, which will increase the chances of a Pokemon holding an item in battle. So that's another way to get heart skills more for free, although it's going to take a little bit of work because it's not as guaranteed as this method. Additionally, if you have a lot of Pokemon with the ability pick up in your party, at higher levels they will have a good chance of picking up heart skills. I've actually been able to pick up a lot of heart skills. I was looking for the Destiny Knot. I had a bunch of Pokemon with pick up in my party. And I picked up a lot of heart scales, a lot of sunstones, moonstones, etc. So finally, to test this out, let's just go ahead and fly to Mount Lanakila. That's going to be right here at the top of the White Mountain. And just to show you what I mean, I actually have a couple Pokemon here that I'm going to be teaching some moves to using my heart scales. So first I have my Kartana. I didn't really like my Kartana having Aerial Ace. I felt like it was kind of redundant and it doesn't really help it. So I'm actually going to teach it Night Slash. And then I have a level 1 Rog and Rolla, and I'm going to try to teach this thing something that it hasn't learned yet, just to show you that heart skills are super valuable in this game. They can actually be used to teach Pokemon moves that they have yet to learn in their moveset. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this young lady right here. Would you like to remind your Pokemon of a long forgotten move? Yes. Let's start with Kartana. Which move would you like it to remember? So you can see all of its moves right here, and I'm just going to select Night Slash. Yes. Please choose a move that will be deleted. Aerial Ace. So my Kartana knew Night Slash before, and I accidentally deleted it for Aerial Ace, and I found that Aerial Ace just wasn't so valuable, so I think it's better to have Night Slash for good coverage. Alright, now once again we're going to try with Rog and Rolla this time. 
Yes, a long forgotten move? Yes, even though my rog and roll is at level one. Which move would you like it to remember? <laughs> even though it was just born yesterday. And look at that, Roggenrola's entire moveset is at your disposal. You can teach it anything that it would learn by level up. Additionally, if you have a Pokemon with egg moves, and you accidentally delete those egg moves, you can use a heart scale to teach it the egg move that it previously knew. To demonstrate this, I'm going to delete one of my Rockruff's egg moves. I'm going to teach it Roar. And delete Thunderfang, which is an egg move for Rockruff. So now Rockruff does not know Thunderfang. It knows Leer, Roar, Firefang, and Sucker Punch. However, when I talk to the lady, the game is going to remember that Rockruff had this rare egg move, Thunderfang. And it's going to be available to teach your Rockruff. And once again, I can teach my Rockruff anything that it could learn by level up. Now remember, this is only for egg moves. You can't just bring a Rockruff and have it learn Thunderfang willy-nilly. You actually have to breed a Rockruff with Thunderfang first. And then if it has that egg move, once you've accidentally deleted it or once you've deleted it, you can go back and use the heart skills to teach it egg moves that it already knew. So I hope this guide has been useful for you. If you did learn something here, please leave a like. And also please feel free to subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of Pokemon Sun and Moon gameplay, reviews, battles, and just other things along those lines. We love playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I love helping you all out. So let me know what your favorite Pokemon heart scale move is. <laughs> and uh, let me know if you have any other methods to receive some heart skills. I hope this guide has been helpful. I'll see you next time.